So again, if you're not here, I keep these fairly up to date. Um, at noon every day, I will upload these. They'll be there. You can comment directly to our Facebook, whatever channel. Um, they'll be up there. Okay, Gary. How do you solve a quadratic? Well, you can solve a quadratic by looking at the quadratic equation. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What those numbers are? All right, Sabrina, what do I do, please, with the negative four and the positive one? Good, comment please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm yes. What you what you said was correct, but I like negative four plus x better. Why do I like negative four plus x better? You will still get the same answer. But Joe, why do I like this a little bit better? Yeah, two and four together nicely. Again, two and one go together, yes, but it's a little more difficult with the same answer. All right, and next line, please. Um, two x. Yeah. Two x times two. Yeah. Okay. All right, Maddie, what comes next, please? All right, Lucy, why did I do that? What is, how did it help? Uh, sorry, I was writing down to the question. So uh, how do I continue from here, please? Okay, uh, well, you can do uh, x equals one, negative one. Good. Because I can put the because minus two x. Yeah. And x can be just five by both x. Good. And the next one is x equals two. Yeah, I, I'm going to write this, but Lucy is exactly right. You can go instantly. Here to x equals negative one half, one plus one to show that. And the same thing with the right, you go instantly x equals two, that's fine. Are we feeling okay with that thing? No, oh, because I wanted, I, I wanted to put this on here just to remind you because we were making faster. We're going to just warm up you guys with a stag. I don't know what to do. I'm actually better than that. Okay, show. Take your negative six and 20. Negative six and 20, it's amazing. Hope you said multiply to negative, what is that, 90? Negative 90? Is it negative 120? Clearly. Negative 120, and we add to 14, which is negative 6 and 20. Good. Uh, Caitlin, what do I do now, please? Please don't throw it. Go ahead. Yeah. Negative 20? Yeah. Yeah, in this case, Probably doesn't matter which one you do. You want to say guys? It probably doesn't matter which one you do. Only because, right guys? Because six and eight or eight and twenty, I mean they don't deal them really go together beautifully. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. Devin, go ahead with this example, please. Okay, so let's take out four x. Yeah. Four x uh, bracket two x plus five. Good. And then take out negative three. Yeah. Now again, Devin's got a 94.3 in this course, so I know this is right, but because the brackets are right, that's the thing. Now, nobody in this class does it, but again, remember, it doesn't automatically take out an 8, or it doesn't automatically take out a 20, right? It's the biggest common factor for both of you. Now, see, so what do I do now, please? Good. And that still equals zero. I'm going to include that there. Okay, good. Amy? Finish off, please. Yeah. Okay, cool. There will be factoring on your next assignment, I guarantee. Or at least this is coming back to people. I hope we've done lots and lots and lots of this at the end of the year. Are you feeling good about this? Harry, all well? Are you good? Jared? Let's move on to number two from last night's homework. I gave you guys one word problem involving a baseball, if I remember correctly. So it says here, the horizontal distance uh, in meters to a baseball path when hit by a bat should be modeled by, and I apologize, it looks awful. The equation was supposed to look like this. D equals V squared over 9.8 uh, sine uh, 2 theta. 0.5, where v equals speed, 
uh, d equals distance and theta equals angle. It says A, a home run travels just to 142 meters. The ball leaves the bat at an angle of 43 degrees, turning it up to the ball. Who am I left with here? Go ahead. What you learned here the, in the given, D was 142 and theta was 46 degrees. Okay, so now we're just going to solve for B. Okay. All right, I'm going to do this really, really slow because this is the type of algebra you got to do. I have to get B by itself. What is the first thing I can do, Nicole, in this question? Pass? Okay. Since I'm on the internet, I'm not going to yell and scream like an Alice Roach here. Is that the internet right now? No, I'm on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you guys cannot give up on this stuff. Okay, I know there's a week left until Christmas, but you've got to really, really try for this. I didn't do a homework check yet, but perhaps I should have. All right, go ahead. Go no, now careful. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Oh, I love the hands. The internet can't see this, but I have 20 hands up there right then. Okay. The reason you cannot, why can I not multiply by 9.8 yet? William. Yeah, the thing is, it's connected to all this and that's fine, but it's not connected to the 0.5, right? So if you multiply by 9.8, you'd also have to multiply the 0.5, which people are 10 probably won't do. So I'm going to get rid of the 0.5 first, and I call this 141.5 is v squared over 9.8. Sine 86. Why might it be a good idea to change that to sine 86 right away? Yeah. Yeah, because if you do 243 in your calculator, it's not good. Okay, in one step, I'd like someone to be brave. In one step, how do I get v squared by itself? Amy, go. So this is going to be 141.5 times 9.8 divided by sine 86, that's all, equals v squared. Okay, so 141.5 times 9.8 divided by sine 86. Now it's calculator time. Who is the calculator? Here, what is the calculator? Good, go ahead. Okay, so again, 1,392.09 equals v squared. Okay. So that is the next is equal to 37.8. Therefore, uh, the initial speed of the ball, hopefully that matches. Okay. Now I'm, even though I'm on the internet, I'm going to speak specifically here. This has got to be an automatic question for you guys. This has got to be. Like this is like algebra, just basic algebra is what this is. Okay, this has got to be automatic. For all the parents up there listening, your sons and daughters are lovely people. And very good at math. <laughs> okay, you guys are all good at math here. Okay, but this this question has got to be automatic. Okay, going forward. Okay. He's looking at me with an angry quick blah blah. Okay, I'm sorry. You got to be good. You got to know this question. All right, Liam. Even though you asked what this question, I want you to try the beginning. It says here, the ball travels. A horizontal distance of 59 meters and leaves the bat at 30 meters per second. Determine the angle at which the ball has been struck at a line drive and a fly ball. Now, I forget that no one plays baseball anymore. And everyone plays soccer. I forget that. What is a line drive and what is a pop fly? Someone demonstrate. Harry, go ahead. Pop fly? Yes, good. Okay, so the idea for this question is this. If I'm going to throw this pen at Harry, which I'm not. <laughs> If I were to do it though, and I were to throw at, so how can I get the ball, how can I get the pen to Harry? There's two ways if I throw the ball. How does it go? There, go. Right at him. And that's the idea. I can say, Harry, look out, and throw it as hard as I can. The second option, I can say, Harry, look out, and throw it up as high as I can. The idea is with the speed, with the same arm speed, you can get the ball always using two different angles to get to the answer. 
So all I was trying to say for the end of part B was there should be two answers. I said it complicated, right? But there's one that's a direct get, the other one's put behind. Yeah. Okay. And again, have you ever seen? I mean, and if you don't believe me, if this is the case, I don't know no one wants baseball. It's not too old for all this. Baseball, have you ever seen somebody looking for the home run? They're doing the home run swing. They spend as hard as they can. They'll swing at a thousand, you know, kilojoules or whatever the you know physics term for it will be. And what'll happen? Well, they can either put it over the fence, or it'll happen to pop up you know, straight up in the air at an angle of 89 degrees and only go this far, right? But the ball goes, no, the ball goes like you know, very, very high, right? You guys have all seen this you play baseball, right? So um, the, the point I'm trying to say is you can get two answers there. So again, it says here, the ball travels, travels, travels a horizontal distance of 59. So D is going to be 59. And then it says that leaves the bat at a speed of 30 meters per second. Now, the trick on this was that it said the line drive and the pop fly. What I'm saying is there's going to be two answers. Okay, so Liam is going to start me off first. My original equation was D equals uh, B squared over 9.8 uh, sine uh, 2 theta uh, plus 0 0.5. Liam, can you give me the first line here, please? Yeah. Now, I was very, very careful when I made this question for you because I put that two theta in bracket. Both of those things are connected to the sign. Okay, so now this is a tricky algebra question. Again, number A, I said you guys should have done this is based on yesterday's lesson, the second half. Okay, so this one's a little bit more tricky. I want to isolate theta. Melanie, what is the next step to isolate theta? It's Very good. Okay. So this is going to be 58.5 equals 900 over 9.8 sine 2 theta. Okay. Can someone tell me where the heaven I got that 900 from? I just squared 30. I did 30 squared. I just did it at the same time. That was a messy thing. I can do that in my class. Jared, what do I do now, please, if anything? Multiply. Good. So I'm going to do 58.5. I can't do that in my head, so I'll let you guys do that one. Equals 900 sine 2 theta. Okay, by the way, I know so I'm being brave right now because I don't know why. You know, honestly, if this question is, please ask this to the new stuff. The last night's question didn't get this to you, so I want to make sure if there's questions, please be brave. Are some of points, right? Yeah. Exactly. Okay, things are looking good, but not yet great. Jenna, what should I do, if anything? Um, divide by Very good. Okay. So it's 573.3 over 900. Okay. All right, go to the next slide here. 573.3 over 900 equals sine 2 theta. All right, Garnet, look up. Garnet, it was your time to shine. <laughs> if I'm isolating theta, what do I do right now? Number sign. Hey, can you, I heard Amy say decimals, but that, and that's fine. You can leave it as a fraction, but you have to be very, very exact. If you write down this for case you're a decimal, and you accidentally switch one number like this, your answer's going to be wrong, right? So I would leave it as a fraction. So I would do right here sine inverse uh, 573.3 over 900. Uh, All right, Adam, can you please use the power of your tablet there and tell me what that two theta is equal to? Thirty-nine points on this last part. Five six. Five seven. I'll leave it as five six eight, only because I have to divide by two. Okay. Any questions on what's happened so far? All right. What should I do next? I hope it's a kind of this three and a half. Yeah, divide by two. So this turns into oh, I can just talk there because we're baseball. Um, nineteen yeah point seven eight four, is that right? So we confirm that. Okay. Nineteen point seven eight four. Let's talk about baseball. Mr. Savage at the plate. We have two world class 
basketball people in this room, if not more. Okay. So a 19, yes, it's baseball, but it's team basketball people in this room. A 19 degree angle, what sort of thing is that going to be at 19 degrees? That is going to be in line drive. 19 degrees is like this big. What's that? Yeah, it will foul would be like, again, if you're thinking of angles here though, right, we're assuming zero straight in front, a foul would be like 150 degrees or you know, something behind it like that. Okay. So this is going to be your line drive. Now, the question says I need a line drive and a top fly. Can someone be tremendously brave? Nate, is your time to shine. Go. No. So I have my microphone. Yes, thank you. Okay. So remember, as soon as you get rid of sine, cos, or tan, that's where your second one's going to be. So we're going to say, or, I'll do this in a different color. Uh, 2 theta equals 180 minus 39.568. Right and again, that's from cast rule and all that other stuff. Okay? So calculator time. This turns into 2 theta equals 140 um, point, what's that, 482? And then divide that by 2, and you get theta equals 70.2 ish. Okay. okay. For my fastball players and for everyone else, a 70 degree angle is how high? Yeah, like se this is 90, so 70 is like this. So if you hit the ball like that, that's very, very high, that's going to be a pop fly. The idea is theoretically, according to this equation, that it's going to go the same distance. Right? If you hit it a short or you hit it high, it should go the same distance. Pop fly. Okay, so this is your pop fly. When I gave this class to my 3M, they said, Mr. Sabbath, the big, my 3Ms are all over this. Number one, it took two weeks to do this. I'm not kidding. Like, they, in that class, we stretched it over a longer time. But they love the idea of adding the period. Okay, if I add the period to this, what's the period to this question? We did this yesterday. What's the period to this? 180. If I add 180 degrees to this, I get 199.784. Yeah, so I'm going to say this is invalid. So again, if you're thinking of zero is straight above, where is 199 degrees going to be? Behind you and on the ground here, right? So if someone from like, the grade 12 asked me, when would you ever restrict the domain? Well, this is an example of restricting the domain, right? Because you only want answers that make sense of zero to nine, right? Like that answer right there, you know, doesn't make any sense. So I just go like this. Well, I mean, if you're going to bounce it off there, and then, yeah, it's not going to, it's not going to go there. Okay, I'm going to pause that, and then I'm going to move on to today's lesson, hopefully.